Hi students, this is Sivokumar, 10th standard mathematics, continuation of exercise 3.6. In 3.6, so far we have completed question number 1 and 2. Now we have to see question number 3. Before doing this problem, a small correction to be done. In exercise 3.5, in the previous exercise, in question number one, subdivision number one, already we completed. Particular denominator instead of two z squared, I had written two x squared. That has to be changed. First, I do this problem. Okay, you change it. After that, we can get into the next exercise. Here is the problem. Exercise three point five, question number one, subdivision number one. Okay. 2 table 2 times and 2 table 10 times 6 and 10 we can cancel by 2 table 3 times and 5 times this is x squared oh uh, yeah z squared and z cube these two get cancelled so here z squared get cancelled here z will be there because in division we have to subtract the powers this is power 3 this is power 2, 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1. Z power 1 that is Z only. Then here Y, here Y power 4. The Y means Y power 1. So already I told you division means you have to subtract the powers. So Y power 1 get cancelled. 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So you will be getting Y cube. So final answer X squared is there. Here X is there. X squared into X, X cube. Before that you have to write number 3. 3 X cube divided by here all get cancelled 5 y cube 5 y cube so that is final answer so subdivision 1 is over please change it now we can do exercise 3.6 problem number 3 subtract this expression from this expression generally uh, for example I write one subtract 3 from 7 how will you write subtract 3 from 7 that means 7 minus 3 from 7 means you have to write 7 first then subtract symbol minus then 3 7 minus 3 that is equal to 4 so an example you no need to write just for your reference only so that from this expression means you have to write this expression first solution 2x cube plus x squared plus 3 divided by x squared plus 2 the whole square minus this expression 1 by x squared plus 2. Now from these two you have to take the LCM. In the LCM you know obviously x squared plus 2 whole square x squared plus 2. Right over here for your reference if you know you can directly write x square plus 2 whole square that is equal to x square plus 2 into x square plus 2 because we have square in the power we have to write x square plus 2 how many times 2 times here we have x square plus 2 that is x square plus 2 now how to take lcm lcm means first you have to write the common factor which one is a common x square plus 2 after writing the common factor after writing the common factor which one is left out x square plus 2 that should be included that is called the LCM so LCM x square plus 2 into x square plus 2 or you can write x square plus 2 the whole square that is equal to after taking LCM what to do sir this LCM should be divided by this denominator that means x square plus 2 into x square plus 2 that is whole square divided by this x square plus 2 the whole square these to get cancelled we will be getting 1 this 1 should be multiplied with the numerator 1 into anything is same thing so write 2x cube plus x square plus 3 minus then divide this LCM by this denominator so x square plus 2 into x square plus 2 that is whole square divided by x square plus 2 so these two expressions are same only can subtract the powers here power 1 here 2 means 2 minus 1 that is 1 only this is cancelled so we will be getting x square plus 2 this x square plus 2 should be multiplied with the numerator 1 into x square plus 2 x square plus 2 
don't forget write this expression inside the brackets because we have minus minus is common for x square as well as 2 very important write this expression inside the brackets we fail to put the brackets the answer will be wrong now we have to eliminate the brackets 2x cube plus x square plus 3 minus int x square minus x square minus into plus minus 2 the brackets have been eliminated divided by x square plus 2 into x square plus 2 that is whole square equals 2x cube no other x cube terms write to x cube this plus x square minus x square get cancelled then 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1 divided by x square plus 2 the whole square so that is the answer for the problem number 3 so third sum is over. I will be teaching the next problem. This is problem number 4 in the next video. Thank you children.